babes. Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another ab workout. Today it's gonna be a little bit intense. We are in week three of the 30 Day to Anyways Challenge. If you're not participating in the challenge, you can still do this ab workout. It's gonna get your abs burning and on fire. But if you want to do the 30 Day Tiny Weights Challenge, you can head to the link in my description to sign up with your email to get the calendar and all the relevant information. It's free, by the way. If you are participating in the challenge, week one was pretty hard. Week two, we took it a little bit easier and today is gonna be a little more intense on our abs. You're gonna feel the burn, yeah. Don't forget to be actually doing your vacuums to cinch the waist. These ab workouts are gonna help us get that definition. They're gonna help get our abs popping and strengthen our cores. But it's the vacuums that are really gonna give you the little ooh hourglass. You know, you know what I'm saying. Also, a little update: a few weeks ago, I made a video about Kenzie. It's an at-home IPL laser hair removal device, and I was basically showing you guys how I use the device and giving you my first impressions of the product. I do have some sessions left, so I'm not completely at the end yet, but as promised, I will be making a video at the end um, telling you about my results with Kenzie and my experience with them, but if you'd like to see the video just to get an idea of what it is, the link is in my description, but just stay tuned for the final video, but so far, it's going really good. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get to the workout. We're doing five exercises for one minute each, resting 30 seconds between each exercise. I've already got the timer running, so you can just do it along with me. You just follow along to my cues. You can put on some music in the background to like pump you up. And all you need for equipment is some socks or two little towels, because we are doing an exercise where our feet are gonna be sliding on the floor. Once you're ready, go get into your cute little active wear, and let's do it. So we're starting off with the first exercise, which is a plank hold for one minute. Here, uh, your form is the most important thing. You're gonna make sure your back is straight from your hips to your neck and your abs are squeezing. All right, let's start our one minute. So here your abs should be squeezing. Your legs are together. So thighs are touching, ankles are touching, and your tailbone is tucked. So you're not doing this, okay? You're not doing this. You are really tucking your tailbone. Try to keep your head looking straight down. Don't strain your neck by looking up. Let's go, hold it for 34 more seconds. If it's easier, you can go ahead and come up to your hands if this is too difficult, but make sure you really squeeze your abs. Oh my God, you should be shaking. I'm shaking right now. <laughs> if you don't squeeze your abs and you let your lower back cave in like this, you're putting strain on your lower back. <sighs> Keep going, just breathe, stay focused. <sighs> Only got 10 seconds left. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And come down. Oh man, that is a full body burner. When you do a plank, right, even holding it for like 15 seconds, you should feel all your muscles activating from your arms to your abs, everything. The next one we're doing is a glute bridge march. This one is a little bit difficult. You have to make sure you squeeze your butt. So press up through your heels. Heels are about hip width apart. You're gonna squeeze your glutes, okay? Don't be doing this. Squeeze your glutes. You're gonna bring one knee up and then bring up the other one. So try to go at a good pace. Oh, hello. Try to go at a good pace, but don't mess up your form, okay? So stay up, keep your glutes flexed so that it doesn't put a strain in your lower back. If you have to go super slow, that's fine. As long as you're holding the position. Are you licking my hair? Really? Oh my god. This one does require a lot of like balance. You have to really think about the movement and control the movement. Keep going, squeeze your glutes. Oh my god, it's easier to squeeze my glutes now. Touching them. Keep going. Let's go. How much time? Almost done. Oh, I can come down. Oof, oh, that one is intense. Let's go ahead and rest. Next, we're doing leg pilates kicks. All right, so for this one, you're gonna make sure you are doing hollow back the whole time. 
I know it's kind of easy to let your back arch on the ground. So instead of doing this, okay, make sure you really tuck your tailbone in. You can put your hands under your hips. Lower your legs, but don't put them too low so your back arches and flutter. Try to keep your abs engaged the whole time. It is natural for your neck to kind of hurt a little bit because your head is heavy, but try not to use your neck to hold yourself up. Make sure the motion is coming from your abs and it will help a lot. Let's go, keep fluttering. Hey, what are you doing? Hmm? Let's go, keep going. 30 seconds left. Loki, babe, can you get him off? All right, keep going. Oh my God, this one's hard. 20 more seconds. <laughs> Keep going. Oh my God. Let's go, we got this. Seven, six, five, three, two, one. Oh, I come down. Wow, Zers. That is not easy. Abs are feeling it. Next, we have got crunch, alternating heel taps. <sighs> now we can give the rest of her body a break. This one is using predominantly our abs rather than other muscles as well. So for this one, it is a little bit easier if you bring your heel, if you bring your heels in closer to your butt. <sighs> You're gonna crunch up, tap one heel, do the other. So stay in this up flex position. You're gonna alternate the taps. Keep going. Try to keep your face looking up rather than like this. Let's go, keep going. Go a little bit faster now. Oh man. Let's go, keep going. Keep your abs flexed. You can take a break for a few seconds. But get right back on it. Let's go, come on. 10 more seconds. Almost. Oh my God. You're almost done, let's go, come on. Squeeze your abs. And come down. Oh man, oh man. And now we have got the last exercise, which is a plank V up. For this one, you will need your socks or your towels, and then we are gonna bring up this yoga mat. So I'm actually not gonna put the socks on, I'm just gonna keep them like this. I'm sorry, we're not doing V-ups, we're doing um, plank in and out slides. So, ready? Get into plank position, slide out, come back in. Remember what I said about the plank? Make sure your tailbone is tucked in, your abs are flexed, Oh, this one's a burner, especially for the lower abs. This one is really hard. It's supposed to be. So just do as much as you can without stopping. Slide out, come back in. Oh my God. Oh, I needed a, a second there. All right, let's go. Keep going. Get back on it. We're halfway through. Oh my God. Keep your abs flexed, tailbone is tucked. Oh, we've got just 12 seconds left. Let's go, finish strong. Squeeze your abs, tuck your tailbone. We got this. Oh my God, thank God. Oh. All right. Now, if this is your first time doing this workout, this circuit today, take a breather, wait one or two minutes, and then repeat the circuit one more time. I really do suggest you kind of push yourself. Of course, if you feel like this completely like destroyed your abs right now, and if you were sore from doing the other exercises just once, you can go ahead and just do this once and let your abs rest. But it is already week three, you should already be stronger. Don't be scared to push yourself and see how far you can go because you are much stronger than you think you are. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's 
workout. Again, don't forget your vacuums, they're the most important part. And this week I have got a HIIT workout coming at you probably on Wednesday. I'll upload, probably. And I know it's right for Halloween, but yeah, we gotta look good in our Halloween costumes. You know what I'm saying? So stay tuned for that because it's gonna be a good one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.